kept saying that. And I did that for days. And I ended up in a mental hospital. And even in the mental hospital, I kept telling them, I gotta go pick up my kids. Yeah. That's just what I kept saying. So, it was hard. You gonna make me mess up my lashes. <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, <laughs> I don't know. I Honestly, I, I can't even fathom what you went through or, you know, your mind at the time, knowing that your husband that you shared a home with, with your children, um, would just kill your two children yeah. and kill himself. Yeah. I can't imagine what you went through during that time, but today, <laughs> I see that, I see a woman who has come through. Thank you. And, and and who's willing to share her story with so many people and women and men. Mm -hmm. Because mental health in the black community is 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 taking us out. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's not just in our community. Let me just let me just take that back. It's in every community that's here. I just made a post not too long ago that the world that we live in today scares me. Mm -hmm. Because we need help, right? Mm -hmm. We need help. So when you were in the mental institution or wherever you went to to get some help, do you feel like, hey, it helped you get through? I don't think. And I'm sorry to everyone who's just now tuning in. We just went, we just went live, and so so many people are are commenting on because they're they've tuned into the show. So I'm sorry for for the first half. I couldn't even. I didn't even. I didn't even think because we were in the zone. Sorry. Mm -hmm. But when you were at the mental location in which you were going through to get seek help to help you get through this process of losing your two children and losing your husband, what was going through your mind? Well, nothing. Because when I got there, it was a lady came into the room. They had me strapped down to a bed. And she says, take these pills. Mm -hmm. And I took the pills and fell in love. And I instantly became a junkie. Oh wow! So, so you were addicted to the meds, I got even after you left the institution. For years. For years. For years. Who is Nikki today? Nikki is something different every week. Nikki is still trying to fire herself. You know, I I know my purpose, mm -hmm. right? I know my purpose is to help people, but I also have to have my space. Mm -hmm. So, I'm a very happy person, and I love to share, and I love um, giving back, but I, I'm, I'm trying to find that medium, mm -hmm. you know. We all are. We all try to find the medium, and, and, and I say this a lot to a lot, and although we're here to serve other people, because mm -hmm. that's what, what, especially if it's in your heart, you're here to serve other people. We also still have to serve ourselves. Mm -hmm. And just it, and we go through different things in our lives mm -hmm. as women and as encouragers and as speakers. But we have to take care of self, right? Mm -hmm. And in order for us to be able to find that happy medium, that comes with developing, to me, a personal relationship with God. Mm -hmm. See, a lot of people have forgot about God, right? Mm -hmm. and, and if we can go out and forgive other people in our lives and, and take them back, and then... Why can't we? Because there has been women who have gone through this and have questioned their faith. You know, I did. I, you did? I did not. So well, you went through that same situation. Yeah, but I, let me tell you a really quick story. Okay. So, um, you know, I have all these tattoos. All of this came after my kids died. All the tattoos, the piercings, I cut my hair off, did all this crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. So I was questioning my faith. So I went to this church. I was walking up. I had this T-shirt. I had some jeans that were ripped up, and I walked to the door. And this lady, this little old lady said, are you in the right place? Are you looking for someone? And my thought was, I come to church looking for help, and this is what I get at the door. Mm -hmm. And that one lady represented God for me. Oh, my goodness. I didn't go to church for years because I felt like I was judged at the door. I, I mm -hmm. felt like I wasn't worthy. Mm -hmm. I felt that my tattoos or what I wore made them look at me different. And so, she made me not want to go to church for you. 
Mm-hmm. There's a lot of people in, in a church house that, and here's the thing, our pastor, he isn't perfect. Mm-hmm. Our, our, our friends, they aren't perfect. Mm-hmm. There's nobody that's perfect. Yeah. We're all imperfect. Mm-hmm. And so the church house is just built for us to have a community, mm-hmm. for us to have a family mm-hmm. in the church. It's not for them to judge you or you to judge them. But it's more so for us to get the word, right. understand the word from your pastor and what's going on. I'm just so, first I'm at a loss of words <laughs> because, you know, I've heard your story several times. And then when I see you and I see the smile on your face, it's almost like, how do you do it? Because, you know, me, even being a widow for so long, I couldn't even look at my daughter because she looks just like my husband. She looks just like my late husband. So when I went through that phase, I couldn't for almost a year. It, it was very hard for me to look at my daughter. But once I realized and I got through that hump of not only just questioning God, because I think we're not supposed to, they say, but we have the right to under, try to understand what we're going through during that time, right? Mm-hmm. But I can't fathom losing a child. I can't even fathom losing children if I had children. I have one daughter. I don't know what that would be. But to see this young lady right now in our studio with a smile on her face and can still sit here, that is so encouraging. And that's so powerful. And that's a woman empowered. Thank you. That is a woman who has been empowered. And so we come and we start judging so many different people for whatever it is that they do in our life. When you look at somebody like like Nikki Payne, and your last name is Payne. Mm -hmm. (laughs) You look at someone like Nikki Payne and you see and you hear her story it's almost like, how do we bask in negativity? Right. How do we sit in our home going through different things and can't get up? Go seek help, good people. Mm-hmm. Go get help. What can you say to that woman or that man that's listening to this show right now or on our, on our Instagram Live with us right now? What kind of advice can you give to that woman or man to tell them how to get up or pick up the pieces to move on? Well... When, when some people try to pick up the pieces, they, they, they say, well, this is what I need to do. But I encourage people to do small steps. Mm-hmm. Um, Nikki sometimes has to say, I'm going to make it from 12 to 12. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's 12 to 12, 22. Sometimes <laughs> it's 12.01 to 12.02. I know that's right. But all of those small steps usually makes me have a great day. Okay. And one great day leads to a great week, mm-hmm. leads to a great month. Mm-hmm. And sometimes I do get set back. Sometimes I crawl backwards, but I always can crawl forward again. So I encourage people, take small steps. Mm-hmm. Just do what you can. Don't try to try to take care of yourself. I agree. You have an event coming up um, that's uh, October 21st. Mm-hmm. Um, talk about your event that you have coming up. That I believe it's to help women who are domestic violence. Let me tell you, you don't have to be physically hit right. for you to go through domestic violence. There's mental right. abuse. Mm-hmm. There's verbal abuse. Mm-hmm. There's so many different forms of abuse. And men are victims. And men, too. men are victims too. In, in fact, my fiance now is one. Mm. So, but but you have an event coming up here, October twenty first in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, what is the event about? I am so happy. It's been my. This is the tenth year that my children have been deceased. Mm-hmm. But this is the first year I want to celebrate their lives okay. and help other people. Mm-hmm. So we're having this um, stop the hurt walk. And it's twenty five dollars to walk, but the proceeds go to the House of Hope. Uh, That's my church. Ch- oh, we're, we're giving to the children's shelter. That's oh, okay, okay, uh, children's uh, shelter. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. To the children's shelter, and they um, help um, kids ages zero to seventeen, along with their parents, to transition mm-hmm. to new homes. Okay, and it's twenty five. Where can they pick up the tickets? Where do they go? We spend so much time talking oh. about you. Where, where 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 do we get the tickets to <laughs> attend the event? Um, www.stopthehurtwalk.com or the link is in my bio. Okay. On Instagram is at Nikki's Pain. At Nikki's Pain. Mm-hmm. Nikki's Pain on Instagram. It's not Nikki underscore. It's just Nikki. It is. Oh yeah, Nikki's with an S underscore pain. Okay, okay. Yeah. I was like, I thought it was an underscore in there. Um, go to Nikki's with an S underscore P A Y N E. Um, if the link is in her bio, grab the tickets, help her celebrate her late her children because they're still in her heart, mm-hmm. right? And they're gonna always be in your heart, and you're gonna celebrate birthdays, mm-hmm. and you have every right to, mm-hmm. and you have every right to do exactly what it is that uh, is meant for you. You are so strong. Thank 
Girl, you are a woman of strength, <laughs> and I, I really do. I applaud what you're doing in the community by giving, uh, helping us, because um, mental health is really just taking over our community. Just look what just happened in Vegas. Um, and, and, and this is a 62-year-old man who, was, who, who, uh, who had money. Um, it, it, and it also, you know, it, it, it kind of shows that you don't have to not have it all for you to feel like, hey, you can't go through mental depression. It happens to each and every last one of us every day. You guys go get help. Google is a powerful website, all right? <laughs> go to Google in your local state or, or your city, wherever you're located in, and look for domestic violence uh, uh, shelters. Uh, there are women's shelters out here that help you. Um, there are also men's shelters that will help you as well. Um, get help, good people. Get help good people my black brothers and sisters please get help because we need it um and everybody my yellow sisters my brown my white sisters and brothers everybody we need help in this world because we're losing uh, we losing our, our our children and, and and we're losing uh our sisters and brothers every day and it's going to take for us to continue to fight the fight so me, make sure you go and you stop the hurt um, by joining Nikki Payne on the walk to help not just celebrate our children but help bring awareness to domestic violence um, Nikki thank you so much is there any last things that you want to say keep smiling that's what this baby do. <laughs> this baby smile, and she smile, smile, and um, we appreciate you all. Make sure you tune into Girl Power Hour Radio. We uh, check our website out, www.girlpowerhourradio.com. Um, we love to share stories. We like to talk to women. We talk business. Uh, we just had our, our, our music moguls in the studio. Shout out to Shantae and Mimi. Um, they're doing their thing with branding and marketing in the in the industry. We just had Nikki Payne. Nikki Payne is in the studio with me, and she's helping you get through so many different things. Uh, we had some amazing people comment on our uh, on our live about what you have gone through and um and, and we're going to save this so that you can have this for yourself and anytime you feel like hey i'm having a bad day girl open up your bible mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. open up your bible and, and tell you there's 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 a passage for everything that you are going through and not only that get help talk to somebody whether it's your friend your you know a family member or not um thank you so much for joining us here on girl power Ride radio sure. shout out to my amazing my amazing producer He's sitting up in the studio. Shout out to Sky. <laughs> hey, make sure you tune into Girl Power Out Radio each and every Friday. All right? Each and every Friday. Just check us out. Peace and love and many blessings. Oh, girl. Thank you. This story right here always just gets me. <laughs> I Lord have mercy. Okay. I'm going to get a picture of you by the dinner. Sure.